NJRoot22.com here with a quick uh, break from the uh, supermarket roundup. This is not a supermarket, it's a pharmacy. Rite Aid in particular. Here's my promo, I'm gonna get rid of it. I wanna talk about this real quick because we don't really notice these things too much, but uh, we picked one up at the store and uh, I guess Rite Aid is up there uh, as one of our uh, preferred uh, pharmacies of the three. I mean, Walgreens I hate. I, it's Even though it's the, sort of the same company, I don't even know what the deal is. And CVS, uh, I'm not a huge fan. I don't know. I have a, a whole idea about pharmacies in general. Uh, it's kind of weird how they, you know, they're a pharmacy and sell medicine to help cure you, yet they have tons of junk that make you sick and probably part of the reason why you need pills to begin with. Or diabetes medication. I don't know. It seems like a self-fulfilling business model. Here, here's the junk that you're gonna need to eat and then, or want to eat, and then here's the pills you need when you get sick. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I noticed something interesting. They have these sales and we typically try to only shop there uh, for most things when they're on sale, like for instance vitamins. They have a buy one, get one free. That, that's not a bad deal. Although I'm not a big fan of their brands. Nature's Bounty is okay. It's probably the best of their brands. I'm not a big fan of Sundown Naturals. I think it's kind of something, something's going on with that. It may not be the ingredients they say are in there. I've, I've, I've noticed minimal effects from the vitamins I've taken from that company. But anyway, um, I, I like nutrition of the world now. Now vitamins seem to be, or supplements seem to be the best in our experience. But what I've noticed is that Rite Aid is kind of helpful here. They, they, they tell you where uh, you could find coupons in the Sunday paper. I don't know who buys the Sunday paper anymore. I guess a lot of the couponers out there do. But, um, and Rite Aid has coupons in their own flyers as well. But I mean, I wouldn't buy this fluoride injected stuff, but it, it's, uh, it's interesting, but and Rite Aid seems to be a makeup, uh, a makeup company. I mean, a store. They sell so much makeup and, and all these lotions loaded with chemicals and stuff. I mean, the the percentage of their healthy and natural stuff compared to the, you know, chemical lab products like ten to one. Uh, anyway, there's something interesting this week. There's this company called Hello that sells this charcoal. Uh, Toothpaste, and this this is a good deal if you have one of those wellness cards. Um, this sells for like eight dollars at Amazon. A two pack, I mean sixteen dollars for a two pack. Here you get this uh, charcoal fluoride free toothpaste for five bucks with, with your card, and you get five dollars back to spend on something else. So this is a good deal, worth picking up this week, and you get two. Buy two for ten bucks, and then you'll get. Uh, ten dollars to spend on other stuff. That that's that's almost a no-brainer. And we like Tom's also, their fluoride-free stuff, but it's not always easy to find, believe it or not. And you get two dollars back with that two for eight, so you end up paying three dollars a tube. Um, the Rite Aid ad, believe it or not, it's, it's very well laid out. I, I like it, uh, even though most of the stuff we we wouldn't buy or don't need. I don't need sickness medication. I don't need eye drops. I don't need allergy. You know, for pain, we, we don't ever um, experience pain. We don't need uh, uh, Advil or Tylenol. We use hyaluronic acid and turmeric, and we never feel pain. So that's something you ought to consider if you want to do some research about uh, healthy alternatives to OTC medicines and remedies. Um, again, a lot of the stuff, like I said, I mean, most of their vitamins I wouldn't buy except for Nature's Bounty, and even that, uh, God knows, there's probably someone out there that found something nefarious about that company as well. But uh, I guess I'm walking blindly down that path right now. And if you look up online, their biggest selling product at uh, Rite Aid are feminine products, uh, tampons and stuff like that. Uh, there was, I think that's all I wanted to talk about this week. Um, I, th I need a new monitor for my video setup here. I'm using this massive like 30 inch screen. It's like totally in the way. They have this piece of crap Craig 19 inch TV with an HDMI input for, it's like their normal price is an overpriced 150, but it's 50% off you get it for like 75 bucks. I don't know. I, mean, I might try to find a used one on Amazon for like under 50. I, I don't need a fancy thing. I just need a display so I could see my, my display is off to this side so I could see what I'm looking at here. Uh, I think that's it. I mean, oh, one other thing. 
I mean, they have like, the, like two coolers worth of food at this place, frozen or refrigerated. But they actually have a good deal on Oscar Mayer bacon this week, two for seven. And that's uh, under the threshold. We don't like paying more than $4 a pound for bacon, so that's actually $3.50 a pound. And that's, uh, that's a good deal if you like uh, Oscar Mayer bacon with the sulfites. Uh, I think I mentioned last week in my supermarket buy, Hormel makes a low sodium bacon that has sea salt in it instead of a refined salt, and that's been my go-to bacon. Whenever that's on sale, it's usually on sale for $3.99, I buy multiple packs to last me till the next sale, maybe a month worth, like four or five packs of bacon. Uh, watch the ingredients. Avoid plain old salt. If you see it, a sea salt instead of salt, that's a good, good, good score. And again, more junk here. Mints, candy. It's uh, it's just a fascinating uh, operation how they can play both sides of the aisle, so to say. Here, here's the candy you're addicted to, and then here's the pills that your doctor says you need. I still find that uh, fascinating. Uh, and that's that's about it for this quick, uh, well, not quick, it's over six minutes now. But yeah, that's uh, what do you think of Rite Aid? It's, uh, it's an interesting, interesting place. So I don't think I'm gonna do too many of these flyers unless I see another uh, interesting deal like that charcoal toothpaste. That's uh, that's interesting. Apparently the jury's out on that too. They say if you use it too often, it may rub your enamel away. So I, I don't know. I, I I have charcoal that I use FYI maybe once or twice a week just to clean up the coffee stains. It does a good job. All right. Have a nice rest of your weekend.